Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. For this lab, what we will do is, we are going to configure static frame relay map. Now, from our lecture, and your lecture with your teacher as well, uh, we talked about frame relay and how you do the mapping, the static mapping, okay, and you give the DLCI number, okay? So we are given the addressing table for the lab. So what are the objectives of this lab is we are going to configure frame relay. We are going to configure frame relay maps and LMI types. To configure the frame relay on router one, but please just have a look on the lab here, just to know what, يعني, to make sure that we know what we are doing exactly. Here we are going to configure as uh, encapsulation on this interface as zero slash zero slash zero slash zero that it's going to use frame relay on on router two also we need to set encapsulation to frame relay on this interface the same thing on router three so let's start with router one it can be no problem it's an interface, the interface number is an interface on the router. Like you have two switches, each switch has switch one, uh, port one, port two, port three. Okay. So click on router one, CLI. The session is recorded as per request of your colleagues. And then I will share you, I'll share it with you, okay? So here, but please follow with me now. Everyone, open your packet tracer and follow. Or you can see what I'm doing, then you can do it. Configure terminal. Okay. Now we are going to the interface. Interface as zero slash zero slash zero. And then we set up the encapsulation to frame relay. Remember last time we set up encapsulation to PPP according to our network or our requirements okay again we will go to uh, we will uh, click on router 2 leave router 1 open does not matter CLI enter enable configure terminal right and then we call the interface Again, S0 slash 0 slash 0, encapsulation, frame relay. All right. Good. Now, on step number three, if we want to do ping now, if I am going to do ping from the PC or to, uh, on the PC to the laptop, of course, it will not work. If you do a ping now, it will not work because still we did not configure our maps. We set up the encapsulation to frame relay, but we're still halfway through. Okay. So now we need to configure the frame relay, static, the static frame relay maps on router one, two, and three. I'm going to, uh, to configure a static map with DLCI 102 connecting router one to router two. It's called DLCI 102. And another DLCI from router 2 to router 1, and that's called DLCI 201. Okay. So here we'll go back to router 1. Okay. We are now on uh, part 2, step 1. So again, at interface. Zero, S0 slash 0 slash 0. We are going to set up the static map. So frame relay. Okay. Static. Frame relay map. And then I will give the IP address of 10.1.1.1.
dot two. Why dot two? Because it is it is linking to router two. Okay. And the DLCI is one oh two and the broadcast. Broadcast. Okay, so again it is frame relay map IP. Oh, we should type IP, sorry. Here we should type IP. Without that, it will not work. The DLCI number. The DLCI of the link. We give it a number just, and it has to be, it is local significant, but we give it a number that we understand, that this is linking from router one to router. Okay. Hit enter. Very good. We are all good. Also, on router one, I am going to set up another map to router three. So we'll give the command three, one or three, and then broadcast. Okay. So now I have set up two maps on router one. Are we done? No, I have to go to the other routers and configure also the maps. Okay. So now we click on router two, open router two. Again on interface as zero slash zero slash zero. Okay. We need to configure the frame relay map. Frame relay and then map IP type from relay, from relay uh, lab. Uh, router two to one. The DICI will, will be watch number two zero one. And what is the IP address? No, DLCI. We give this number. Yeah, we can set up the number any number we want, but we put something that we understand. Yeah, it will give us a meaning. I know that this map is connecting router two to router one. So I give I give the number two zero one. When I am on router one, I give the number one zero two. Alas. Okay. And then, since it is linking to router one. Yes, exactly. Very good. So we will put the IP address ten dot one dot one dot. One and the DLCI is two zero one and broadcast also. Okay. Another one on router three, on router two that will map to router three. Okay, so I will repeat the command. dot three and what's the DLCI number here? Two zero three. Correct? So we are done with router two. Now we will click on router three and also set up the mapping. Yes. Yeah, you can, you can, but if you just type tab, it will continue it for you. Okay. It's good practice like this, it's faster. Okay. Here, enable, if you want to write the command in full like this, enable, then configure. But we like to use shortcut because we are repeating it many times, you know, terminal. 
But if you type config T, it will work. If you type config T and then tab, it will work. Okay, it's just good practice. Okay, but all is good. Now we will call the interface, interface S0 slash 0 slash 0. Yes, we are on router 3. And then we will, by the way, uh, here there is one command is missing. We need to set up the encapsulation to frame relay. So do that first. Encapsulation. And you can add it to the lab. Encapsulation, frame, relay. Okay? Please add that line, ladies. Add the line, okay? Type it. There is one line missing from R3. Already it says uh, do for R3. Yeah, yeah, but it's not written here in the steps. Okay? So now I will set up the mapping. So frame, relay map ip 10.1.1.1 301 broadcast okay another one linking to router 2 and 302 broadcast Okay. Now one more command. We need to configure ANSI as the LMI type. Okay. On R1, R2, and R3. So to do that, very simple. While we are now on R3, we'll just give the command. Frame relay LMI frame, play, LMI, okay, type, LMI type, and here we are going to use ANSI. This is a type of LMI, okay? It is, uh, it is about managing the link. It, is some, it has some parameter, parameters for managing the frame relay link, okay? It is covered in the theory, but this is how you set it up. Let me finish the lab, then I'll explain it to you. How does it work? How does it help us? Okay, let us just finish the configuration. So do R3, and we'll do the same thing on R1. So I'm going to copy the command. Go to R1. Do the same thing. Go to R2. Do the same thing. Yala, please. I'll give you like two minutes to catch up if you are late. Highlight and copy. Uh, co use the copy command on the packet tracing. Okay, done. Did you find it? All right. So uh, now, as you see, uh, Abdurrahman, you, our LMI is configured. Okay. LMI is just signaling management. It is for managing the frame relay. It's called local management uh, interface. And here they asked us to use ANSI. All right. Of course, all, on, on each interface, otherwise they, they have to use the same signaling in order to work, okay? Last but not least, we need to verify connectivity. How do we do that? We can do pinging, pinging from the PC to uh, or laptop to the web server. Okay. 